one aspect of piano playing that I feel is very, very important is <coughs> the maintenance of a relaxed arm and hand. Now, a lot is uh, a lot is said about the arm and the arm weight. I've heard that quite often, and, and it's very valid that the arm weight is 100% the most important aspect of playing the piano. Getting your body into the keys, this is the number one factor in making a sound. Uh, but there's also the idea that the hand that the relaxation of the arm begins with the hand. And there is this muscle here at your thumb, which I feel that if you keep the, this relaxed and soft throughout your playing, you're going to make a better sound by, by utilizing your weight better, and you will cut down on fatigue greatly. Now. One of the things we have to understand is that the piano only dies away. The, the sound only dies away when you play a note. Um, a note only lasts for as long as the string will vibrate. You cannot make a crescendo when you're holding the note on a piano. And that is something that we need to realize because oftentimes the chord you're playing is quite intense. Your body wants to Experience, experience that that tension in, in the sound and yet to do so would be harming your chances of making the sound beautiful. It's definitely counterintuitive um, but the idea is when you're playing a chord you're going to use your whole arm and your hand pretty much has to stay in the position of a person who's sleeping like this. Often you see method books, the hand is, is like this, and that's pretty much useless because that's going to get you a clunk. So we want to play from the arm with the shoulders relaxed, leaning into the keyboard, make a beautiful sound like the first chord of the Beethoven Fourth Piano Concerto. However loud you want to do it, however soft, However well, they were varying degrees of, of well done, but the idea is you're going to center your weight over that fifth finger. And then you'll get a sound that comes in relief to the rest of the chord is more like a bell. Now, once the chord is down, the hand goes slack. You do not need to keep pressing. You are not making a crescendo into the next chord. That's not happening. We have to do that different way, other ways. But this is the first thing. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about how you practice this.